give my hand as they go. Amen, amen. Be not dismayed. Whatever, whatever be God will take care of you. that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. 
So he made it again into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make. So he made it again. I, I just want to preach just for a little while from the topic, worthy vessel. Worthy vessel. Pray with me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus right now, I ask you to strengthen my mind, Lord, strengthen my body, Lord, properly up on every leading side. Father God, open the hearts and the minds of this waiting congregation that they might receive the word you have deposited in your servant spirit. I ask, Lord, that you would take me and hide me behind the shadow of the cross. That they might not see me, but Christ in me. Bless somebody's soul. And make them whole. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do pray. Amen. 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 Worthy vessel. You know, as I was walking around uh, the other day, and I looked out of uh, my my patio window, one of the things that may not know about me is that uh, I have a hobby uh, where I like to uh, grow plants, house plants, amen? Yeah. And I have a, a pretty good collection. Yeah. Uh, I grow them and then I, I, I pinch pieces off of them and I put them in other pots and I give them away uh, to friends and family uh, just as presents, amen? Amen. Right now, I'm, it's summertime, and summertime is the time for what they call uh, propagating. And when you propagate your plants, it just simply means to make more plants out of one plant. Amen? And each plant is propagated in different ways. Some are propagated by cutting the leaves off, and putting them in dirt, and some are propagated by cutting a stem off and putting it in some water until the roots show. Uh, some you have to uh, let stand for a while. Some you have to let uh, 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 dry up for a while before they're replanted. And when I looked out at the patio, when I walked past the patio window, I saw all these different pots, empty pots, clay pots, and pots with plants and there's plants all over uh, that are in in preparation of being replanted and 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 rearranged around outside now so they could get some more sun and I thought about pot. amen and one of the the interesting things about pottery is that it is one of the most challenging uh, crafts that you can have. In order to do it well, you have to have skill and you also have to have patience. Amen? And there's all so many different types of pots. When I looked out over uh, the patio, I saw clay pots, plastic pots. I saw pots that were painted. I saw stone pots and porcelain pots and even pots of fine china uh, all products of this painstaking process of pot making and it's a livelihood for some people and it's a hobby for other folk but a vessel that's produced in the pottery have some things in common first of all they've been prepared then they've been shaped then they've been glazed and then finally they've been tried in the fire before they can be placed in the store and a vessel that has a crack in it or a chip is not as valuable as a vessel that is perfect the pliability of the clay and the skill of the potter determines the ultimate worth of the vessel that 
is produced. All right, all right. Are y'all hanging with me? Well, because Because see, I came here and I don't have a long message for you today, but I just want you to know that God is looking for some vessels. All right, all right. Yep. Yep. Any vessel. It can have some chips. It can have some flaws. Mm -hmm. But he needs worthy vessels yes, sir. Yes, sir. that will witness for him every day. Now, many of you say, well, how can I be worthy if I'm flawed? Mm -hmm. Will you leave that to the potter? Amen. 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 The potter is the one that decides who is worthy. Amen? Amen. The text here that we're looking at today, it, it talks about uh, or considers uh, the, a man named Jeremiah. As he thinks about the, the situation that Judah is in, mm -hmm. or the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, now he preached to the kingdom about his backsliding ways. All right, all right. Y'all ever had anybody talk to you about oh, yes, your backslide? Yes, and where well, some of y'all still backslide. Oh, yes. Amen. Even though you've been preached to about it over and over and over again. You've been preached to about lying. You've been preached to about gossiping. You've been preached to about fornication. You've been preached to about drunkenness. You've been preached to... Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about today. Amen. You've been preached to about adultery. You've been preached to over and over again. And many of y'all still doing the same thing yep. that you've been doing. Jeremiah knew that. As a matter of fact, he preached more about backsliding than anything else. Amen. He used the term backsliding 13 times wow. to describe Judah's relationship with God. Amen? Amen. Jeremiah prophesied that the kingdom was going to be destroyed. Yes. And that they were going to be enslaved. And then they were going to be returned back to captivity. When God spoke to the other prophet, Hosea, on the same subject, he gave him a picture of an unfaithful wife mm -hmm. as an illustration. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of y'all know what it feels like to have an unfaithful wife. And some of y'all don't know what it feels like. Amen? Amen. Uh, you don't know uh, what it feels like to love somebody uh, that just keeps messing up. Mm. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about today. Uh, you, some of y'all don't know what it is to, to, to care about somebody but hate what they do. Mm. Jose gave the illustration of an unfaithful wife. But when God spoke to Jeremiah about the same situation, the illustration changed to that of a potter and clay. Okay. Amen? Amen. Amen? The Lord said to Jeremiah, go down to the potter's house. Yes, sir. Look at what you see being made on that wheel. At the potter's house, Jeremiah noticed that the potter formed his pot and started shaping it on the wheel. Oh, yeah. Come on. But when he found out that there was a flaw, something wrong in the mm -hmm. clay, mm -hmm. he took the potter, the potter and clay that he was working on all that time, and he tore it down mm -hmm. and started all over again. All right now. And the point that God wanted Jeremiah to see was noted in verse 6. Uh -huh. He said, Can I not do with you as the potter? Looking at the potter, you need to note a couple things. The creation of clay vessels involved four steps. The first step was preparation. Preparation. You had to get the clay prepared. Mm -hmm. Then shaping. You had to shape the clay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then you had to glaze the clay. Mm -hmm. And then finally you put the clay in the fire. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 
And when you're preparing the clay, some things put in the clay are put in the clay to strengthen the clay. Mm -hmm. So that it'll hold its form. Mm -hmm. And make it so it won't be so difficult to shape the clay. Mm -hmm. So when they're forming the clay, they get what they call ground flint. Mm -hmm. And they add it in the clay to give it shape. But sometimes iron fragments get in there and they have to be removed. Mm -hmm. Or they can catch on the potter's hands Yes, and yes. leave cracks in the clay. All right, all right. And to be usable in the service of God, my brothers and sisters, there's a few things you need to add to your life. All right. And there's a few things you need to take out of your life. Y'all better hear what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. If you're going to be usable for the Lord, if you're going to be a vessel that's to be used by the Lord, then you're going to have to add some joy to your life. And you're going to have to get rid of some of that sadness. Yes, sir. God can't use folk running around moping all the time. Like God hadn't blessed you. If you're going to be used by the Lord, then you're going to have to add some peace to your life. And you're going to have to take out some of that confusion. Yes, sir. Some of y'all got confusion in your life. And you like to blame it on other folk, but it's all your fault. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. Uh, you got some folk in your life causing confusion that you should have gotten rid of years ago. And there's no peace in your house. And it's all your fault. Then if you're going to be a vessel that the Lord can use, then you're going to have to add some trust to your life. And stop doubting everything. You need to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes. Lean not to your own understanding. Yes, all right. All right. In all your ways, you acknowledge Him. He'll direct your path. Right. Am I right about it? Amen. 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 Then you need to add some salvation to your life. Mm. And take out some of that condemnation. Mm. Amen. 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 You know, we done got saved. And now... We pointing fingers at everybody that's just like All right. Talk about it. we used to be. We want to look at folk and look down on folk that's doing the same thing that we was doing just a few years ago. Listen, you need to add some salvation to your life and take out some of that condemnation. When you look at the potter, you should know that the shaping process is not in the hands of the clay, but it's in the hands of the potter. The potter is the one that decides what the clay is going to be. All right. mm. And every child of God in here today ought to know that you can't do anything without the Lord. Amen. 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 Without the Lord, I don't care, your best efforts are going to fail. Mm. All right. Amen. Without the Lord, your dreams are going to turn into nightmares. Yes, sir. Without the Lord, your hopes are going to fizzle out and that's why the songwriter said, without God, I can do nothing. Without God, I surely fail. Without God, my life would be rocky, just like a ship. Somebody know what I'm talking about. You know, when you look at the potter, you ought to notice that after it's shaped, the clay is decorated. You know, undecorated pots are not worth as much as decorated pots. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get clay pots, you can go down to the Home Depot, you can get clay pots. And they don't have to be painted or anything, and they're pretty inexpensive. But if you get a pot that's clay that's been painted and glazed, it's more expensive than the plain pot. And it doesn't matter, that design could be painted on, or it could... It, it can be painted on with pictures, you know, or it can just be uh, etched on or just stamped on. But all of us should be demonstrative vessels mm. that demonstrate the pattern of your God. All right, all right. Amen? Amen. Amen? You can't pattern your own life. Mm. You have to let God pattern your life. Right. 
You can't pattern your life after mama, even though mama did some good things. She has some problems too. Amen. You can't pattern your life after daddy. Daddy was a good man, but he had some problems too. Amen. Amen. You need to pattern your life after your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Psalm said, follow Jesus. Take no chance of getting lost. Yeah. Amen? Amen. But brothers and sisters, the potter has prepared his clay and he shaped it into a beautiful vessel. Mm -hmm. Engraved it with this fancy pattern. But the test of the vessel it's not what it looks like, but whether it can be tried in the fire. That little clay vessel is placed in the oven, and as the temperature starts to rise, the shape of that pot is locked in. And as the temperature rises, even more of the pattern and the design become integrated into the form of the pot. Yeah. as the heat rises but see there's one thing more if there's a flaw in the clay uh -huh. if there's a rock in the clay mm. if there's some foreign materials in the clay it'll usually show up yeah. in the fire yeah. all right, all right. a vessel with chips and cracks mm. went wrong somewhere and it was always something wrong but it just showed up in the fire. Y'all right, right, right. don't hear what I'm saying. Uh, uh, there, there's a lot of people today that say, I love the Lord. Uh, he heard my cry. And I'll do anything for the Lord and I'll serve the Lord anywhere and I'll, I'll be anything the Lord wants me to be. But your faith is just lip service. Because you haven't been tried in the fire. Yeah, you'll serve the Lord and do anything until folks start talking about you. You got to be tried in the fire. Your little character flaws come out when you tried in the fire. Yeah, you holier than holy, but you start cussing when you get tried in the fire because your little, y'all don't hear what I'm saying, today. your little character flaws come out when the fire gets turned up. When you've been tried in the fire, you come out as pure gold. Mm. You get support when you get the suffering, when you've been tried in the fire. You get hope when things get hard, when you've been tried in the fire. You get control when there's all kind of commotion going on around you, when you've been tried in the fire. You get endurance for the race when you get tried in the fire. You know, you get a song in the middle of the darkest night mm. yeah. after you've been tried in the fire. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, when folk have talked about you and you still kept on serving. Come on, talk. When folk didn't even thank you and you still kept serving. When folk criticized you. When you spent your own money and did the best you could to try to help them. That's when you've been tried in the fire because you kept on serving. I heard a songwriter said, have you been tried in the fire? Did you come forth as pure gold? Brothers and sisters, the Lord and Savior doesn't ask you to be more than he himself was. Jesus said that he wants you to be a worthy vessel. Jesus was born in a body that was handpicked by God. Yes. Uh, he wasn't rich. Uh, it wasn't anything even close to fancy. The angels said that Mary should bear a son yes, sir. and call his name Jesus because yes. he's going to save his people. Yes. Yes. Jesus was shaped in the circumstances of man just like we are. Yes. But he was guided by a hand, the hand of God. Mm. I hear Jesus talking to his father saying, not my will, but thy will yeah. be yes, done. Jesus was patterned after his father. I heard him say in John 10, I and my father mm. are one. Amen. 
Jesus was tried in the fire. On the evening 2000, 19 years ago, Jesus, Jesus, Abraham called him the sacrifice at Mount Moriah. Mm. Jesus. Jesus. Elijah called him the still, soft voice. Mm. All right. Jesus. Right. Ezekiel called him a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Jesus. Solomon called him the lily of the valley. Jesus. John called him in the book of Revelation uh, the bright and morning star. He picked up an old rugged cross and he died. I said he died. But early Sunday morning got up from the grave a worthy vessel uh, to give salvation to me and to give salvation to you. A worthy vessel to be a mediator between me and my God. A worthy vessel to plead my case and negotiate a new covenant with me and my God. He got up with all power in his hands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus, save my soul. Hallelujah. Somebody give Jesus a hand in this place. Amen. I told y'all I ain't gonna be no swinging off the ceiling and back to the uh, stuff today. Right, I'm tired. <laughs> I just I don't feel well and I'm trying to make it I'll make it through. Amen. Amen. But y'all pray for me. Amen. And still uh, there's still a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Word for God's people. Amen. You know, uh, there are two ordinances in the Baptist church. One is that we are baptized. Amen. 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 By immersion. And what that means is we take our candidates completely underneath the water. And that represents the death and burial of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And then we bring them straightway out of the water. We admonish them to walk in the newness of life. Then secondly, we are ordered to commune. And we talked about it this morning a little bit in our Sunday school. Amen. But communion is a simple meal. We're not gonna kill any lambs. We're not gonna spread any 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 lamb's blood or any of the blood of dogs or the blood of bulls or anything like that. But what we all going to do is we're going to have bread that represents the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. That was broken for us. And then we're going to have wine that represents the blood that was shed for the remission of our sins. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's a simple meal. But it represents so much more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's prepare ourselves to commune.